Finance Minister Tito Mboweni says the practice of having a Deputy Finance Minister as the Chair of the PIC has been a bad one and it has now been dealt away with. The Minister says there is nothing in law that says Deputy Finance Minister should chair the PIC Board of Directors. Cabinet has taken a very firm position that the Chairperson of the Board of Directors of the Public Investment Corporation is not going to be a Deputy Minister or any other Minister. So a lot of negotiations will still need to happen because there is a bill that has been passed by the um, NCOP, which the president needs to apply his mind to. And that bill says the deputy minister of finance or any other minister in the economic, in the economic cluster, whatever that means, um, should be the chair of the PS. But it's a political issue that needs management. But from a corporate governance point of view, I think uh, the cabinet decision was correct that the chairperson of the board of directors of the PIC will be a non-executive director and not a politician. Meanwhile, the PIC Commission of Inquiry had today that the controversial IO investment has not performed due to some aspects of the deal not materializing as well as negative media reports. Former PIC CEO Dr. Dan Majila has refuted allegations that he came back from leave to approve the IO technology okay. deal. Okay. He says he went back to the office to attend meetings. He also says the selling of Anglo shares to fund the IO deal is nothing unusual nor irregular. Majila says he was shocked that after he left the PIC, two officials were suspended following an internal audit draft report. A matter of suspending employees should have been handled more sensitively and not held in a haste. A press statement on the suspension of employees showed that someone does not care. This behavior is not in keeping with the PIC values. Because I believe a press statement was issued that some people have been suspended. Employees have been suspended of the PIC, which is something very unusual, Commissioner. I believe internal audit has been used like a mercenary hitman to remove employees that were either aligned to me or sympathetic to me. I don't believe Mr. Nema Govani is innocently conducting the affairs of internal audit. Machila says the meeting that was supposed to ratify the decision to invest in IO technology instead approved the transaction that was already concluded, which was incorrect. The IO deal was signed by Machila and Lebham Molebazi, who was the acting head of listed investments before this meeting. Machila says he did not rectify this as he did not think it would be an issue. He will continue giving testimony when the Commission of Inquiry resumes next week. Gurasa Fakomosi, SABC News, Pretoria.